Amen. Let's read Matthew 6. Are you looking at Matthew chapter 6? Verse 10. Verse 10. It says, Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Read that again, that verse. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Today, I want us to know that we are in the kingdom. We need to behave. We need to know who we are. Right? I'm in the kingdom. We are in the kingdom. This is the prayer that our Lord taught our disciples. He says, when your kingdom comes, the earth here will change. The earth here will really change. It will be like we are in heaven. Can you hear that, what I'm saying now? Your will, how you run things in heaven will be run on earth. Sometimes I have to look around and see how we are living. And check if we are living like we are in heaven. The will of God must happen here. The way it happens in heaven. Amen. Amen. Can you tell me verse, my friend? The will of God. The rule of God. The way people live before God. Must live here. The way they live in heaven. So today. We need to know that we must bring the kingdom. I was reading about our Lord Jesus Christ. When he was approaching Pilate. Let's read John 18. Verse 33. Verse 33. To 37. To 37. You will see Jesus knew the kingdom. He says what? So Pilate went into the praetorium again and called Jesus and asked him, uh -huh. Are you the king of Jews? Jesus replied, Are you saying this on your own initiative? Or did others tell you about me? Pilate answers, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own people and their chief priests have handed you over to me. What have you done that is worthy of death? Jesus replied, my kingdom is not of this world, nor does it have its origin in this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would be fighting hard to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not of this world. So Pilate said to him, then, you are a king. Jesus answered, you say correctly that I am a king. This is why I was born. And for this I have come into the world to testify to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth, who is a friend of the truth and belongs to the truth, hears and listens carefully to my voice. Amen. Amen. I, I, I want us to speak scriptures only here. When I explain scripture, you listen carefully. There are three or four things that I will talk about. Here Jesus was before the Pilate. And Pilate was asking him. Jesus had opportunity.
to declare it. When he was asked, Are you the king of the Jews? Are you the king of the Jews? He said, Are you saying that in your own initiative? Jesus could not beg money. He was saying, If you understand who I am, it will really affect your position. If truly you are saying because you find out you will understand that I am worthy to be worshipped. You will cancel this case before I even, you even hear me. But Jesus said, my kingdom is not of you. Because Jesus is the king. He said, my kingdom is not of you. If it was of here, my servants will fight. What is it that Jesus was saying? He said, I don't want man authority to defend myself. I don't need anybody's ability because I understand my kingdom. Where I come from, manpower is not needed. Protection from man is not needed. I know where I am. If I agree to allow the man to help me, I will hinder the will of God. This was the lesson that was bring by Jesus. Jesus was saying, when you are in the kingdom, the man will be also Man will be there. But be careful that man must not hinder God's will. Because the will of God must prevail. In the kingdom, man must fail. Man's power will fail. It is only God's power that will fail. Jesus was saying this. Look at this verse. He said, my kingdom is not of this world. The Pharisee says, now you are a king. He said, you said it correctly. I am a king. Can I tell you this? You are in a kingdom. That the one you have accepted as your savior is not just a savior. He is the king. You have accepted a savior that no one can rule against. I don't know if you are hearing it. He is the king. The king owns everyone. He even owns your opponents. So you cannot fail or have fear of your opponents because you are under the Can you tell your neighbor, say, I am in the kingdom. There is a king. And my king is my savior. That king is my savior. You know, when I'm saying this, I begin to question why we still need people to fight for us. Why we still need people to defend us. When we have a king, we have a king. So you have a king. If they reject you, you are in the kingdom. But there's a king who will speak for you. I don't know if you are hearing this. Sometimes where you are working, you are going through some challenges. But can you tell yourself, you, you need to understand where you come from. You need to understand where you 
well. If you know that your king is the same savior who own where you are working, who own your employers, who own everyone, you will stop to speak for yourself. You will leave everything to the king. Today know that you are under the king and his will his will will prevail. In other words, the opposers, the enemies can still come with their strategies but his will will be the one that will prevail. Can you tell your neighbor say, hey, I'm under the king and I'm not afraid because his will will be the one to prevail. When I was looking at this, I began to hear Jesus say, okay, listen, those who understand the kingdom, they always stand in the truth. They understand the kingdom. They cannot protect themselves and lie that they are not what they were said that they are. They cannot change when they face challenges. They remain where they were as they are. They stand in the truth no matter what. We love to change our stance when things are tough. Sometimes we comply because we need a favor. We need Christians who stand in truth who tell themselves that I'm under the king. There is something that I must do. I must be what I am. I don't need to decorate myself and become what I'm not so that I'll be accepted. This is the time that Christians need to stand their grounds and exhibit the truth Preach out the truth and walk in truth and hear the truth and speak the truth in this kingdom. You are in a kingdom that you cannot compromise. You are in a kingdom that you cannot shame. You have received a kingdom where the will of God will prevail. Sometimes things are working opposite to what you believe. Stand in the truth. Allow the challenge to hit you. But it will pass very soon. Because your God, His will, is the key that will allow His will to prevail. Let them speak against you. But His will. Because you are in the kingdom. You are in the kingdom. That will always stand. If you believe, shout hallelujah. You know, there's a verse here in Colossians 1, verse 13 to 14. If you read that verse, that verse will really shock you. It says, for he has rescued us. He has rescued us and drawn us to himself from Darkness from demonian of darkness when darkness dominates and has transferred us unto his kingdom. Can you read that verse, Mama? It says, uh -huh. For he has rescued us and drawn us to himself from the dominion of darkness and has transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son in whom we have redemption because of his sacrifice, resulting in the forgiveness of our sins and cancellation of sins penalty. I want to tell you the word redemption means. It's deliverance and freedom. Redemption means deliverance and freedom. This is the benefit of coming from the dominion of darkness. There was dominion 
of darkness where, where we cannot see clear where we cannot see far when we look around we cannot see who's coming we cannot understand what was happening but he came and took us from there when we talk about he rescued us it means he came by himself and opened our eyes to see that we don't belong there we are of his will in his kingdom I don't know if you are hearing that listen to this sometimes when there is dominance of things for you to escape that dominance you need someone very careful to understand how he can take you out and take you somewhere but listen to this though you can be taken so simple you still find yourself with scratches you still find yourself with things of showing that you are from somewhere but now you are no longer there you are in the kingdom but the scratches are still there you can see them that those scratches happen because you cannot see clear you are in the kingdom where you can understand why the scratches came you are in the kingdom where you understand why you fail in the past you are in the kingdom where you understand that whatever happened has happened because you lack knowledge now you understand you are rescued to be in the kingdom where the king his will prevail can you tell us hey there was dominance of darkness but I'm no longer there the failure and all those things that happened to me was because of the dominance of darkness I could not interpret what I was seeing but now I have to interpret the results of the past cannot determine me in the future the failure of the past cannot take me to my direction it's only the one who rescued me and put me in the kingdom I don't know if you are hearing me I'm in the kingdom where I can see that my past experience was because of lack of seeing clear because darkness was dominating I see some people here changing their business changing their lifestyle changing how they do things because they can see clear they have been transferred and they've been given a meaning in this kingdom I don't know if I don't know if you are hearing me I'm here to tell you this when you come to this kingdom you know you know the past you know the shame you know the difficulties and some people are still laughing at you because of the experiences of the past but I can tell you this now you are in the kingdom that cannot be shaken I don't know if you are hearing me you are in the kingdom yes the past in history you are a new creature in the kingdom God is changing your assignment it's changing your life it's changing everything about you if you believe shout hallelujah hallelujah Hey, I'm no longer in darkness. The dominance of darkness are the things of the past. My God has taken me to a place where now I can see that there are other who are dominated. But I'm in a place where God has tested me so I cannot fail. I don't care what they are saying. I don't care if they are laughing. But I can see where I'm going because my God is with me. If you believe, shout hallelujah. 
I feel something here. I feel something here. Listen to this. You were worried. And you don't understand why you were worried. I'm here to tell you, hey, you are rescued. You are rescued. The yesterday is not like today. You are in the kingdom right now. Shake somebody and say, hey, you are rescued. Shake somebody and say, wake up. You cannot die by the past. And the failure of the mistakes of the past. You are rescued. You are in another level of life. The Lord is with you. The Lord is raising you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I feel like to tell you I, I want to tell you something that I was learning today that why must I worry about the failure of last of last year the failure of last year and of last week when I'm in the kingdom where is we and I tell you something sometimes God can allow something to happen to you to add to make you to understand that you have tried by your ability now you need his will. He can allow something when he wants to rescue you. He has got his own formulas that he uses to take you up. There's a net that throws you to where you don't want to go and you face some things that you don't want to face in life. I don't know if you're hearing me. And he's bringing you there. But it's not easy, but you are going there. I mean, there are challenges that you are facing, but you are going there. I see you going there. there. You are about to enter there. And when you're there, nobody will be able to stop you. I say you are out. You are no longer in darkness. You have been drawn to a place where you don't wish to be there. And God bless you. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Sometimes when you are in the process where God is taking you, you begin to question, question why, 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 all why, this why, 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 I want you to be and be there and see what you can do. If you are yes, I hear you. Here, Mama. When I'm preaching here, it's like I'm speaking with someone who says, hey, why my things are like this? Why my things are like this? I'm here to tell you, hey, you are inside the net and his way of rescuing you, of taking you aside, is not pleasing, but God will make you to understand when it's over. Hey, tell somebody, say, hey, I will understand when it's over, hey, tell your neighbor, you will understand when it's over. You don't understand it right now, but you have been pulled to a direction that is not pleasing. Hey, tell your neighbor, 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 hey, t
silence everything. And there is there is nothing that moves. And you question why. why when I pray that side, I tend to pray that side. But there is nothing that moves. Because God is taking you to a direction of His will. I don't know if you are hearing it. Can you tell your neighbor, say, hey, where are you? Where are you? If you don't know where you are, you are in the direction of His will. You are in the kingdom that cannot be shaken. A kingdom that was established by God alone. And whatever works, whatever happens, it works for you for good. Whatever happens, it might be a downfall. It's for lifting you up. It might be sickness. It's for a good death. It might be rejection. It's to make you celebrity. This is the time where you can allow God to lift you and take you where you belong. Say, I feel something here. I feel something here. When you're in the kingdom, God allows people to come and hurt you. Because, you know, they can't see there. You remember, you're in the kingdom. And things are happening when you're here. They come because they can't see you and they hurt you because they are blind. They don't understand what is happening. They come your way and you are coming with the light. They want to hinder light. They want to associate with you. That's why they came because they saw the light. The reason why they came it was because they saw who you are, why they leave you. They think they have certified you and you are a loser. But I'm here to tell you that you are more than a conqueror. In Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus. They are about to see someone they don't even know. Someone they don't even understand. Someone who's in the kingdom. Someone who's victorious. Someone who's more than the conqueror. Someone who's here. You are the one today. You need to tell yourself when things are very tough. You say, hey, I can see it's tough. But I'm in the kingdom. Hey, I can see that there's a pain. But I'm in the kingdom. Hey, I can see that they're speaking against me. But they don't know where I am. But I'm in the kingdom. They can criticize you. But you're in the kingdom. Say I'm in the kingdom. Say I'm in the kingdom. This is the kingdom. This is a powerful kingdom. I want to give you a scripture. Let me give you a scripture. Because talking with you here is not enough. Look at this kingdom. Oh my God. Romans 14 verse 17. Glory to God. Can you just read that verse? For the kingdom of God is not a, a matter of eating and drinking. What one likes. But of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Oh my God. Righteousness. In the Holy Spirit. I'm still light with God. I'm still light with God. Amen. It's tough, yes. I'm still light with God. Things are happening, yes. Against me, yes. But I'm still light with God. And I've got peace in my heart. As long as I've got peace in my heart, I don't worry what I don't have around me. Because I've got peace in my heart. Joy in my heart. Listen to this. We are so much concerned about what we don't have around us. This is the time now. We check what we have inside. Peace is not outside, it's inside you. God must give you peace with God. Righteousness with God. Joy with God. When things are not even mattering, you say, I have peace in my heart. Peace in my heart. I want to tell you something. Do you know that your God always bring a great visitation. When you understand these three for the time of challenges, righteousness, peace in your heart, righteousness, peace in your heart. The moment when you are facing all this, I want to do what is right. 
in my heart. I just want to enjoy myself and rejoice that the Lord is with me. Who can be against me? You know, there's another psalm that says, though the wicked, you know, come together try to eat up my flesh. They shall stumble at me. 10,000 this side. 1,000, all of them will fall. Nothing will harm me. It's one peace is established inside me. You understand that whatever that is happening is temporary. It's temporary. Whatever you are seeing is not for you. It's for someone. I once told mama, I said, mama, you see what we, the, face, the challenges we are facing will end soon. Mama told me something. We were still very young by then. She said, I told God, God that when I reach 40, I must have everything. By then, things were very tough. I don't know if you hear me. So, we, I began to understand what she was saying. When a problem comes, she said, I have not reached 40. I don't know if you hear me. When a problem comes, she says, no, I have not reached 40. 40 is coming. When 40 comes, I'll be having everything. So I cannot worry about what I don't have now. I've got peace, righteousness, and joy. Oh my God. Peace, righteousness, and joy. Today you are worrying about what you're going to eat. Worry about your heart. Tell them, worry about your heart. Worry about your heart. Guard your heart. Peace and joy. Uh, me, uh, sometimes, but I'm not doing that in front of my children. I'm not doing that in front of my because they will think I'm crazy. Uh, I just go to my room. Because sometimes mama will find me there. I will find me there. And I can't stop when she found me. I don't normally, even when I stay in my house, I don't go to some rooms. When I go, I go to my room. I have peace. I have great peace. Create peace. I will start to dance. A lot. I've got some own dance, my own dance. That I dance alone in my kingdom. I don't know if you're hearing me. I, I, I don't want to think about problems. I, I took problems aside. And start to have music in my mind. I, I began to hear <laughs> in the kingdom. I mean the kingdom. And I began to do my dance. I to enjoy myself. And when I'm doing my dance, I'll, I'll be looking at myself on the mirror. I, I begin to say, fum, 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 Someone is talking about me there. Here I'm enjoying myself. Fum, 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 fum. Fum. Where are you? I when see I you only. Go, when I, I, when I, fell. I see you only. I see myself. Nagi, I see myself. Where are you? When the one who's speaking against me yeah, is there. But, but I see myself. Bo, 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 bo. Bo, bo. Bo. <laughs> I enjoy myself. Nagi, I'm, I'm, in in the the kingdom. Kingdom. I'm in the kingdom. I'm in the kingdom. Where? Mama will find me. When mama, mama found me. Ah, mama, mama, ita. I, I look at him and I say, I, I pass in front. My stomach is growing. 
Listen, listen. Satan want to occupy your mind with what he's doing. Crush it away. Expect your God to do something. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The kingdom of God is of righteousness. Joy and peace. It's not of eating and drinking. When you don't have food, it's not for the kingdom. When you have food, you have food. The provision of this world does not change the kingdom. Don't look everything on everything or anything. When you don't have those things, enjoy yourself. Let me ask someone here. When you have got a problem, how are you going to test? Show me, stand up and show me how you are going to test. Show me how, before I carry on, show me. You hear you have lost a job. There's no job that is can you show me? Stop now. I see that dance there. I see that dance there. I see, let me show me your dance. I love that dance. I love that dance there. I love that dance there. I love that dance. 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 When you hear disappointment, make a music with your mouth. When you hear disappointment, make a music with your mouth. When you hear disappointment, Jesus is Lord. Amen. Yeah, Jesus is Lord. Amen. Foo, 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 foo. Amen. Sit down. God bless you. Hallelujah. My God. Amen. Look at this scripture. Oh, Hebrews 12. Oh. Hebrews 12. Verse 28 to 29. Verse 28 to 29. Jesus. Bible 12, 28. It says, Therefore, since we receive a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us show gratitude and offer to God pleasing service and acceptable worship with reverence and awe, for our God is indeed a consuming fire. There's no opposers, no enemy, even yourself, who can conquer yourself when you are in the kingdom. Listen, even yourself cannot conquer yourself when you are in the kingdom. Because whatever happens, you will say, oh, this is his will. My God is the consuming fire. When he comes here, everything will be burned as if it never existed. Burned beyond recognition. Your problem is about to be burned beyond recognition. Your challenge is about to be burned beyond recognition. Look here, that verse, it says, Matthew 6, 33, it says what, but first and most importantly seek, aim at, strive after his kingdom and his righteousness and all and these things, all these things shall be added to you. When you are busy rejoicing, when you are busy standing for God, all these things, all these things, all these things will come to you. Can you stop asking God for something? The Bible says even before you ask Bible him, he knows he wants to give you. The Bible says, Bible Ephesians 3 verse 20, he gives 3, 20, according to above, yeah. above what you ask what you think, he wants to give you, not what you can ask, he wants to give you above what you can ask. God doesn't want to give you what you are asking. If you are asking 100,000, 
500,000. God will give you 500,000. Above. So he knows what you want. want. He will add all. I see God blessing you. I see God raising you. I see God lifting you. If you you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read that verse, Mama. Matthew 6, 33. But first, and most importantly, seek, meaning aim at and strive after his kingdom and his righteousness, meaning his way of doing and being right, the attitude and character of God. And all these things will be given to you also. Read it again. This is that verse. But first and most importantly, seek, meaning aim and strive after his kingdom and his righteousness. And all these things will be given to you also. Did you hear that? Liguile. Huh? Mm. The Bible didn't say, when you are in the kingdom, then ask. It says seek. In other words, let, let me try to tell you this. You are facing challenges that can make you to compromise. He said, like, no, I cannot compromise. I'm in the kingdom. I'm in the kingdom here. Let me strive. The right way is to strive. Let me carry on. Following God. I, you look like you are losing. One time one lady came to me. And said the manager. the manager. Say you promote me Are if I sleep with them. I said if you sleep with the manager. You are, you, are manager. you are out of the kingdom. You are out of the kingdom. So you. Say no. I don't want promotion. Because it's only God who promotes. I don't want your promotion. Let me just carry on. Working, what, what I'm doing is okay. You are striving. It's the world is having promises. But you don't want those promises to be fulfilled in your life. You want God's promises. So it's only God who can do it. Now you hold on saying, I will hold on to God until God does it. I don't know if you're hearing me. You are striving. You are aiming. When you are busy doing that, when you, you are seeking his will. You want his will. Not your own abilities. That when you are portraying them, they will bring forth results you need. You don't need any results. You don't need any favor from men. You need from God. You need that favor from God. When you are busy striving, you'll be surprised. Someone will come. I believe in this thing. Uh, I want to tell you. I want to tell you. I believe in things like this. Someone will just come and say, You know, this, they are hiring a person. Do you have this? No. You can be a manager. They want someone to apply here. You apply. You moved away. You are struggling. Trying to direct your life. And some people have interfered. This is the time you need to know yourself. In the kingdom. And it's only God. Who have to decide your life. Not yourself. If you are facing what you are facing. Don't worry. Just carry on. Striving. Following. And God of mercy. Will never leave you. You will make your example. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I say we'll make you an example. 